Hundreds of people protested today the possibility of Missouri losing its only abortion clinic. The license for the Planned Parenthood clinic in St. Louis expires tomorrow night. And today, a judge heard arguments from Planned Parenthood and the state on whether the clinic can continue its operations. A final decision is expected to come down tomorrow. In an interview you will only see here on 41 Action News, Governor Mike Parson went into detail why the state is not renewing the license for the clinic. He says the clinic committed numerous violations and is not complying with state orders. And he told 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dow his intent is not to close it. Protesters marching the streets of St. Louis, hoping to protect the only abortion clinic left in Missouri. I think my job is to do what I can to protect life. On the other side of the state here in Kansas City, 41 Action News went one-on-one -on -one with Governor Mike Parson, asking him about the abortion issue that's put the state in the national spotlight. Do you see this as the state trying to make Missouri not have an abortion clinic period. I, I don't think that has anything to do with the decision that we're making on this. The reality of it was this started long before that piece of legislation ever got passed. That legislation bans abortions at eight weeks and making no exception for rape or incest. State health department officials say they will not renew Planned Parenthood's license that expires Friday night. Else Governor Parson says the clinic had violations and some staff members refused to comply always moving the goalpost on us, always reinterpreting sort of rules. On Tuesday, we talked with Dr. Colleen McNicholas. She's the only abortion doctor in the state. One in four women will have an abortion in their life. That's a lot of people. Um, it is an incredibly common and incredibly safe procedure and one that in just a few minutes allows for me to help people sort of get to a better place. Parson says his goal is not to close the clinic. You have no problem with them still operating in Missouri. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If, if they're operating under the guidelines of the state health department, which they have for years, you know, until now, and it's just a matter of getting that cleaned up, if they get it done, they'll be able to operate in the state. Now the fate of the clinic is in the hands of a judge. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. So if the license expires, Missouri will be the only state in the country without an abortion facility.